Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Burning Paris Suicidal, and today there was some Twitch drama, so I don't know if you guys are staying up to date on all of the Twitch drama that's going on right now, uh, but I should probably restart my computer because there's probably some audio delay when I shoot right now. <laughs> there's probably like a shoot and then a, a, the sound comes up a little while later, I'm imagining. I'll restart my computer tomorrow. So these, these videos will still have that delay, if it's there, it might not be, I don't know. Probably there though, I imagine. It happens when I forget to restart my computer. And I haven't in a while. Uh, anyway, so there's some Twitch drama on, on Twitch and the interwebs. I'm gonna move my mic closer. This feels a little bit better maybe. Something maybe like uh, that. This feels feels pretty good. Oh no, we have to we have to turn this like that. Okay, this is this this is you feel you feel that difference in the, in the audio quality. It might got it might have gotten worse. I don't really know, but it makes me feel better this way. So the Twitch drama is they removed the blind playthrough tag on uh, on Twitch stream, so you can no longer tag your stream as a blind playthrough of a game, uh, and that's because apparently it was I don't know how to pronounce the word, but ableist, ableist. Um, it was it was apparently discriminative or discriminatory against um, visually impaired individuals. Apparently, that's what they're saying. Except the only thing that that I can see um, with with this problem that's kind of going on here is that all, mo most of the people who I see in favor of this as being like, "Wow, good for you, Twitch. You're so progressive," and you know, thanks for. You know, making this a more inclusive community and blah, 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 you know, people who are in favor of this change and, and think it's a good thing, the majority of them can see just fine. And as a disabled individual, I'm not blind, but I, I do have autism, I am legally disabled, I, I have a, a lot of issues with, uh, with a lot of things, and I am legally disabled um, as an uh, impaired individual. One of my pet peeves is when other people kind of speak on my behalf and are like, "Hey, you can't, you can't use this because that's offensive to to those people." And I'm like, "It's just not though. <laughs> it's just is it, I'm more offended by you trying to like protect me than than anything else. Like, there are a lot of things that offend me. Like, I don't like people using autism as an insult or whatever. I don't like when people are like, you know, talking about all those autistic kids who are just screeching and yada yada yada. Right? Like, that's just that kind of stuff really, really irks me um, as as an autistic person. But oftentimes, you know, people will try and say, "Hey, I don't know if you can say that." You shouldn't. You shouldn't be saying that. Or they'll try to block people from from using, you know, autism in in a way that that actually makes sense. Or, um, you know, you know, I can't think of any examples off the top of my head. But but oftentimes they'll they'll try and protect me from things. Autism Speaks is a great example, actually. Their entire thing, like, if you, if you ever heard of Autism Speaks, it's, it's, they, they don't actually have any autistic people there. They don't, they don't hire. They, they literally will not hire you if you're autistic, which is like, you know, I, uh, <laughs> it's just a whole bunch of people talking for me. Um, who, who don't actually experience what I experience. And as as a, you know, sighted individual, I, I can't really say for sure whether, you know, saying something as a blind playthrough is, is offensive to to blind people. I just I also can't see where the blind people are who are saying that blind playthroughs is offensive. You know, like I can I, I can see both sides to a certain extent, because um, if you're blind, how do you market that you're a blind person playing games? You can't say you're you're playing blind because that's going to make people think that you're playing without any awareness of of, uh, of what's happened, right? Like you're going to be playing a blind playthrough. So if if you're blind, how do you market yourself as being blind and get those viewers in who are interested to see that and kind of grow and and leverage that. Uh, that opportunity that you have as a blind individual, you know, whatever opportunity you can say you have, but you know, there there is some when it comes to to marketing yourself as a as a video gamer for sure. Uh, 
doesn't necessarily even out the the negatives of it, perhaps, but it's uh, it's there. Um, but how do you market that when everybody's just going to be thinking you're just doing a blind playthrough? So I can kind of see um, wanting to make it better for blind people to be able to market themselves like that. But removing the blind playthrough tag doesn't do that. Is the is the thing right? Because Blind people still can't say that they're doing a blind playthrough as a blind person. Because they're not allowed to do that because it's blocked now. And, you know, what what could have been better was just having, like, a, a visually impaired tag added as well. And then, you know, they'd, they'd be pretty good to go. But it's just, it's just, all I see are people who, you know, sighted people who are able to see, you know, and, and they're talking about how it's such a good move for, for Twitch to be doing this, and I'm like, I just, I don't know for sure whether this is offending blind people or not. I don't, I don't know, okay? I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not blind, I don't, I don't get to, to say that, but I also think that they don't get to say it is offending them either, you know? Like, I've, I've seen numerous blind people saying, um, that this is a stupid change. I've seen numerous people claiming to be a blind person anyway, and and you know how how much does that say? I don't know. It's, it, even if they are, are, are even if they are all blind, I don't know if it's a big enough sample size to to say for sure that like this is a stupid change. But it just I, I feel like there's a better way to handle it, and 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 it ju it just really irks me when people who don't have a thing try and talk for people who are experiencing it, you know, when when you can see and you're talking for the people who can't see and being like, we have to get rid of this because it's offending those people and they, and they don't get a say in the matter. I don't know, maybe they do have a say in the matter. Like I said, I haven't seen too many people talking about it really, but it just, I just, I just, I just don't like it. I just don't like it. I, 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 I've, I've tried looking. I really just don't see where all of the blind people being outraged by this are, or like being outraged by blind playthroughs on Twitch are. Like I don't see that. You know, and maybe it's there. Maybe I'm just missing it. Maybe maybe I'm missing it, but I just don't see it and it really it really bothers me because to me it just seems like a whole bunch of people who can't see trying to defend the people who can't when when they didn't ask for that. And uh, to me that just feels a lot more discriminatory. You know, like it, to me Calling something a blind playthrough is arguably, is is debatably, you know, you, you, you could argue that it's bad. There There is an argument to make that having that be such a prominent known thing is affecting, is, is affecting blind people and, and their ability to to accurately describe what they're they're saying but you know changing the tag isn't going to fix that you have to change the perception of the word blind and like literally change the definition my my i have like i have to take some water one sec we'll drink some water here <clears throat> all right you know you have to literally change the the word you can't just remove the tag that doesn't accomplish anything and uh oh my good god and uh, no he's right behind me eh no? Okay. Uh, removing the tag doesn't, like... It doesn't fix anything, you know? Like, the... Whatever discrimination that you could argue is was there will still be there because blind people will still have troubles marketing themselves as being blind. You will still have trouble telling people that that's what you are and them not thinking that it's just you playing without knowing what's happening, you know? Like, it, it doesn't accomplish anything. Okay, so but but you you could argue, you you could argue there there is an argument to be made that uh, it's it's harmful to blind people to to have it be called a blind playthrough. Okay, you you could make that argument. I don't think you would necessarily you know win that argument, but but there there is an argument to be made for sure, and who knows who knows how it goes in a you know court of moral and ethical conundrums I don't know right but on the other hand being offended for somebody else I don't think there's an argument to be made that that isn't offensive 
personally. You can't argue that that isn't offensive. It's definitely 100% offensive. So to me, it just feels like there's possibly a problem with, with calling it a blind playthrough and possibly a problem with, with you know, calling... With, with using the second definition of the word blind just because of the prevalence of blind people online and their you know, desire to be able to accurately represent themselves and, and market themselves and whatever. Right, so there is there is that side. And then the other side is definitely 100% offensive because they're being offended for somebody else. And it just, it just, uh, I just, I just, it, it bothers me so much when people do that because it's so harmful to the individuals who are actually suffering from, you know, whatever you're trying to defend them for. It, it, it's so unbelievably harmful. It, it, it just paints them in such a bad light, you know? Because I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's just a, a ton of blind people out there now who are, like, being attacked for this. You know, like a ton of blind streamers out there who are, like, who, who are having to deal with the, the, the repercussions from this. You know, like people asking them, like, "Hey, why are you offended by this?" and like, you know, harassing them and 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 just annoying them with this, and and they were likely not even bothered by it in the first place, and now they have to deal with all of this kind of backlash from somebody else being offended for them. And again, maybe maybe there was a, a big group of blind people who were being uh, being annoyed by it but it just it just it just seems like such a weird move to me honestly and I don't talk about internet drama too much cuz like this video is not really going to be relevant in like a week and I don't like that I don't like that but I make so many videos it doesn't really matter right it's just a weird move it's just a weird move dude it's just weird I don't like it I don't respect it if if they if there were some kind of you know indicator that that blind people were actually being offended by this and this was actually a problem for blind people that they actually wanted to be solved and this was the way that they actually wanted it to be fixed then that's fine i just have trouble believing that those blind people wanted you to remove the blind playthrough tag and didn't want you to make your website more you know accessible with you know aria tags and um making your font better and Having better, you know, font controls in the website. You know, there's a, there's a lot of things you could do to make Twitch as a whole more accessible to blind people, and and removing the blind playthrough tag. While it might do something, it's really just going to cause a lot of backlash to a lot of blind people, which is probably going to make it harder for them to stream, and it's not going to make it easier for them to use the website anyway. It, it just, I just, I feel like there's nothing that goes right here. And I don't want to speak for blind people because that's that's my pet peeve again. So I don't know. Maybe they are offended, but it just it just feels so wrong to me. You know, it just it just feels like a push to seem progressive at the expense of blind people to me. Is, is kind of what it feels like. And and I, I can't respect that. I can't respect that. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. 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 maybe right? Like, maybe, maybe maybe blind people are offended by this. And maybe this is the solution that they wanted. I just find it, as I said, really, really, really hard to believe that that's the solution they wanted. And uh, they didn't want, you know, a different tag added to, to say that they're visually impaired. They didn't want, you know, more accessibility options on the website. They didn't want, um, you know, any any of that kind of stuff. You know, like like there's just a billion things they could have done for blind people. This 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 just doesn't feel like it. So I imagine I'm I'm imagining that there are a lot of blind people who are, or are visually impaired to, to any extent really, uh, who are like, really offended by this move. To, to try and protect them. That, that's that's my guess. That's my guess. And it's just... Uh, the moral of the story, I guess. To, to keep it as short as I can here. The moral of the story is... Uh, if, you, if you know a group of people who are... Impaired in some way. Visually. Mentally. You know. Hearing. Whatever. If, if you know people... 
and they're talking to you about the problems and uh, you know you know that like this is a problem that they have and and this is a thing that they want fixed and and this is like actually something that's actually affecting people then absolutely you know go to the front lines and and try and and make things better for them absolutely 100 percent okay i mean if that's what they want you know ask Just or you know see nice or feel it out or whatever um you don't want to like go to their job and start making a mess for them or whatever you know like they, there's limits to everything right but <clears throat> uh if, if you know somebody who's who's, yeah. who's suffering from some kind of um disability of, of some form then then I, I think that you absolutely get some kind of a of a pass to have some say in in how things affect them to a certain extent but if you don't I, I really and it's not gatekeeping if, if you don't I just I really don't think you get a say and and you know it, it seems like gatekeeping I don't know, I said I was going to keep it short, but I can't really keep it short because we still have time this episode. <laughs> uh, it seems like gatekeeping, you know, if you don't know anybody who's uh, who's autistic, you don't get to talk on autism. Seems like gatekeeping, but on the other hand, if you don't actually, like, talk with people who have autism, or talk with people who are blind, you don't really... You're not, you're not really qualified. You know, like you don't you don't have the opinions of these people. And and I know for a fact. I know for a fact that uh that uh, Twitch isn't doing that to a, to 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 the extent that they should to to be able to make these changes because they're not implementing the other things that are definitely like super important for blind people. Like Twitch doesn't have aria tags, I believe, which is like number one priority for websites to be accessible to the visually impaired that's like that's what they're for and twitch doesn't have them so they're you know they're not talking to to, to blind people about how, how about what what needs to change on the website like clearly they're not because that's like what the blind people would be saying is hey could you maybe implement some like accessibility stuff for us their their first priority is definitely not to be getting rid of the blind playthrough tag on twitch that's definitely not their their top priority it's it's probably like if, if it's even a problem it's probably like priority 10 you know like it's it's down there are a lot of other problems on twitch that uh that blind people have um and uh it's just, it's just yeah if, 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 you, if you don't actually have any experience talking with people and and getting to know them and like understanding their problems and and asking them questions and trying to learn and putting forth that effort to actually understand if you aren't doing that then you don't know their problems you don't get to talk about their problems because you don't know them you never put forth an effort to actually understand them and and that's 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 what it feels like twitch is doing to me I mean, it's definitely what twitch is doing because um, again there are a lot of other things that they could be doing that would be better um, and that's not to say that the blind playthrough tag isn't harmful. I don't know. Okay, I don't. I don't know if it is or not. It's just uh, they could have. They could have handled it better. You know, like if they were to start making like some proper visually impaired accessibility stuff and implement the visually impaired tags and and do all this kind of stuff. And then they were to have removed the blind playthrough tag, or at least you know, tried to clarify that it's for blind people and, and introduced a different tag for people who are doing blind playthroughs, you know, to, to kind of like work that out. That would have been fine. That would have been like, hey, you know, that's like actually pretty cool of you. You're, you're actually making an effort to, to make things better for blind people on your platform. That's really, really cool. That's not what they're doing. They're not, they're not making their platform better for blind people and it just, it just irks me. It just irks me. It irks me the wrong way. But it gets me thinking, you know, about blind people. I think about blind people all the time. I think about deaf people all the time. I think about uh, people who can't feel things all the time. I think about anybody who has some kind of uh, impairment that uh, 
prevents them from from doing something that I kind of take for granted, and and how it affects them, you know? Because like, I mean, I don't know. You you let's let's say you got a, a a house full of blind people, right? Let's let's say for instance you got a house full of blind people. Would you need like like you wouldn't need to have a TV? You wouldn't need to have like lights, computer monitors. You wouldn't need like what else what else would you not need? You wouldn't need clocks really? Like like typical like you wouldn't need like a typical clock. You need you need probably clocks, but it'd be like a an audio clock, right? Maybe a you might have like a, a grandfather clock or something, you know, that kind of goes dong every hour, so you get like kind of a some kind of semblance of the passing of time. Uh, there's probably other clocks for, for blind people as well. I mean, definitely you could get something like Alexa if you're into the whole uh, wireless mesh network with the, with your neighbors, which is that's probably what we'll talk about next episode. Um, you know, you could get, uh, but like, I don't know. It's just, it's just kind of crazy. And like, I'm scared of the dark, right? And I think that that's just sort of a a, a pretty primal instinct kind of thing. Like it, it's it's just, it's a fairly common thing to to be afraid of of what you can't see, right? Well, blind people just can't see. Okay, so can blind people be afraid of the dark? Like, cause, cause everything would be mostly dark to them. But I, I believe that, um, most or a lot, at least, of, uh, of, of the blind people who, you know, exist, um, can't see, but they can know if they're in like a dark or a bright environment. They, they can't actually like see stuff. It's, it's just like one big blur. But, but it, it does. The light's coming in, it's just, like, not enough or whatever for them to be able to make out details, but they can, like, like, if your eyes are closed and you look at the sun and you see the light coming through your eyelids, like, like that kind of thing, right? Um, well, you're just, like, kind of chilling there, eh? So, w would they be afraid of the dark? Like, could, are there blind people who are afraid of the dark? Like, is that a thing? I don't know. But, it's, uh... And not, not all, I'm, I'm sure there are some blind people who just like straight up, there is no light at all. Light doesn't exist for them, you know? Time doesn't pass, right? Anyway, enough about the drama. We'll talk about more drama in the next episode. Well, not really drama, but some, some stupid stuff. Uh, that's going to do it for today, though. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more of the future comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.